Questions for I coach. was real happy with my team tonight. It was a phenomenal effort. Um, we don't like losing, but the kids played their hearts out. Uh, this guy, John Braden, was, was phenomenal. Uh, I'm so happy for him. He's been through a lot. Um, I, had, I had a talk with him the other day, and he's, uh, he couldn't have responded better. It was a great game. So give my own a credit. I mean, they played well in spurts, but we also played very well. And uh, it was just a tough loss. Questions for John or Ryan? John, can you just comment on how you felt you played today? Uh, well, as a team, uh, I think my team, I, I think my team went out for uh, trusting me with the ball. And uh, you know, I just tried to be as effective as I could for my team. Did you take uh, Mitch's advice to heart about shooting the ball more, looking for your own shot tonight? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the meeting that we had definitely helped. Uh, he just pretty much told me he had 100% confidence in my ability. So I just tried to do my best I could with it. Yeah, that stretch of about eight minutes in the second half, where you guys just couldn't score. I think like maybe five turnovers in a row, some missed shots. And what do you think? Where do you think the offense went south during that stretch? Uh, uh, I think every good team has slumps, and uh, at that time when we had a slump, uh, their team was uh, still connecting and making passes. But uh, we want to learn from our mistakes in the film, so looking forward to our next game. I'm sure you're not one for moral victories, Ryan. But what do you think it says about the team? The fact you guys were down 12 with three minutes left and still kind of made it a little bit better. Um. It, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, we don't have any quitters on the team. We got guys that stay stay to the game plan and continue to play as hard as they can as long as there's time on the clock. So, um, you know, that's that's nothing new to me. But I, I, we can't put ourselves in that position to be down 12 or three minutes. That's what you know. That's what hurt us. Although up in Albany, you came back from down 12 early to beat them. Did you have the feeling like it was going to be more more of the same? Like you were going to come back and once you caught them after being down early, did you think you were going to pull it off? Uh, um, I mean. You know, we, we weathered the storm in the first half. We didn't play great at all in the first half, but I think, uh, you know, down two, we, we couldn't be any happier with that, the way we played. In the second half, we uh, kind of saw it was always at that, you know, six to nine point range where we never made that jump, and then we started to do it too too late. And, uh, you know, we didn't get the big one when we needed it. Their coach said coming in they were determined not to let you kind of take over the game in the second half the way you did up there. Did it seem like they were really uh, collapsing on you or really? Uh, yeah, I think maybe? so. Um, and I think they did a good job of uh, always having two guys on me. There was any time I caught it, there was at least two or three around me. Before I even caught it, there were two just shading in. But um, you know, to, to our credit, I think the other four guys on the court, you know, they, they made plays. I mean, we, we, we go through it in practice every day. If a team wants to double me, I'm fine with that. I got four guys that I trust and that I know can produce. So you know, pick pick your poison. Can you comment on how John played? Uh, today? I mean, coach said it best. He was phenomenal today. Um, obviously, he was called upon in a tough spot. Um, with Raheem's injury, he just kind of got thrown in there. But the way he practices and how poised he is on an everyday basis, you know, it's nothing. It's nothing new to him. If he plays three minutes a game or thirty-eight minutes, he's still going to give you everything he has. He's going to be the same attitude. And I think uh, his best attribute is that he just has, you know, a forget attitude. If he turns it over, forget about it. He'll come down, and make a better play next time. And uh, that's that's really important when you have a point guard who's going to have the ball in his hands with thirty-eight minutes a game. Did you think Jenkins was? You know, Jenkins hit those three threes during the run they had. Was he a guy you were worried about coming in? Uh... Yeah, we definitely, uh, he was marked for one of the shooters. Um, um, we definitely had to keep focus on him and uh, our scouting. Uh, I think we did a poor job of covering him for those, especially that time when they were doing it in their run. But um, <clears throat> all around, I think we did a pretty decent job as far as guarding the guards. But uh, next time, uh, we'll have to do a better job. Two losses in a row, Ryan, but you take some positives out of this come going into Manhattan on uh, Sunday? Um, I think so. I think just the, uh, the way we fought is always, always a positive. But... Um, you know, you know, it's not going to get you any wins if you fight and lose by three. You gotta, you gotta make plays early in the game to not put yourself in that position. So I think, um, you know, we, we've been saying a lot in our losses. We have to do a better job coming out of the gate and playing with the, the effort and the passion we do in the last 20 minutes and the first 20 minutes, so we won't be in that, you know, down eight, down ten position. Can I, do you expect to be sore tomorrow, and, and do you feel like you're going to be able to recover in time for Sunday? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not used to playing 38 minutes, but uh, I'm going to get a lot of sleep tonight. Eat and go to sleep and relax and uh, ready for practice tomorrow. It's part of the game. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thanks, guys. Go back to the locker room. Take questions for coach. Thank you. <coughs> that run where they pulled away, you know, Jenkins at the three threes against the zone. Is that? I know you love playing zone. Is that the chance you take against the team against Iona when they has a lot of shooting? Yeah, uh, Mark, I, the zone actually I thought was effective most of the game. They were missing shots. They, they, the zone helped us in the first matchup, and I, I, I stuck with it. I mean, we got out of it a little bit, but I felt good about this game with, with the way Breeden was playing, and I thought we would make a run. Now, the, the lead got a little too much, but 
think we had a lot of fight. It was a hell of a comeback. Yeah, when they would jump right up on you, seventeen to five, was a <coughs> were you worried that that game would get away from you pretty quickly? I, you know, um, not, not, they started uh, really quickly against Manhattan, and Manhattan came back on them. I, you know, they shoot a lot of threes, so they they tend to go hot and cold, from what I've seen. And they went cold tonight, and we got back in the game. You happy with the way the guys just executed? Who to foul and that type of stuff at the end? It looked like you yeah. guys were obviously targeting yeah, the shadow and trying to stay last, I thought our last three minutes we executed well, fouled the right guys. And that, we, we didn't want to foul Jenkins the last play, but offensively we did what we, we were supposed to do. Um, you know, it, it, it's a couple baskets short. I mean, what are you going to do? I think after you cut it to five, Mitch. Uh, um, about 25 seconds ran off the clock before you blew a foul on Machado. Did you want your kids to foul any sooner than that? Or yeah, did you I did. I mean, I was screaming. Um, but it, then it got down late in the clock. It was a four-point game. I, I don't know if we should have fouled that. You know, it was late in the clock. We should have let it run out. Or played it until the end. It wasn't a good play. I could, didn't think. could you tell we're going to the smaller lineup and said no D for a good chunk of the uh, second half? Yeah, put the smaller lineup uh, we needed for pressing. I, 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 nothing against Odie. I just thought we had to get a quicker team. Any other questions for Coach? Is, this, is that about? Did you get more than you could have expected from John uh, in the situation on, on the road? Uh? Mark, he was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I, well, I'm his biggest uh, supporter. You know, I, I have been since he's been here. I recruited him, and I'm so proud of him tonight. He was great. His best guard in the fall, I thought. Anything else?